if you have to like start deleting messages that you get in your DMs from people, yes, it, you know, is that would you consider that as cheating? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys stopped by. Today I have my friends Ange and Sean here with me today. And today we're going to be talking about if social media has an influence on relationships. I think that's a spicy topic. 100%. So what's some thoughts? What y'all got? I think, and this is just solely based off of my personal experiences especially my most recent relationship that ended about a year ago. Um, that relationship was completely social media driven. Okay. Um, because the content that's on social media nowadays is extremely, it, I consider it could be considered as vulgar. If not vulgar, then it's like very uh, baiting, like like catfishing yeah like that does that make sense to me like easy access a hundred percent because like it's easy for you to sit there and type up a message saying hey boo how's it going you look good mm -hmm. yeah but you got your girl or your man right there mm -hmm. and then at that point like it just opens up a can of worms that doesn't need to be opened up mm -hmm. you know and it's, it's equivalent nowadays apparently uh, unfortunately instagram is equivalent nowadays to like tinder or Bumble. Ugh, it is. yeah consistently 100%, liking photos a hundred percent it's like equivalent like if you're yeah. sitting there going through a feed and then you come yeah. across someone's page and you just like all yeah. the pictures yeah. and like a that's fan let like, them know minutes. that you're interested uh, yep that's you baiting them in to be like hey how you doing mm -hmm. i see you like my content Mm -hmm. How are you today? What's yeah. your name? And then it just opens up something that doesn't need to be opened up. I agree. Yeah. So and that's just my person, and that, and I think that can go both ways in a friendship and a relationship. Because like, if you have a jealous best friend, which unfortunately none of us are one of those people that are sitting on this couch, they could equally receive that the same way. Mm -hmm. But if you have a jealous best friend and they do that, they do probably re rethink that friendship. Yeah, relationship. Yeah. Period. So, so do you think, so what you're saying is likes can indicate that somebody is into you? Yes, mm -hmm. 100%, especially if it's consistently. You know, say for instance, it, like she just said, like a hundred, like somebody just liking your photos, 10 photos in like one minute. Like, why are you, it's like you stalking me. If you like something here and there or whatever, yeah. but not just like consistently just liking your photos. You didn't notice my photos like mm -hmm. three weeks ago when I posted. Now all of a sudden you're just going through like my, my whole, 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 like, yeah, uh, whole profile. Yeah. yeah, you get like, like 50 notifications from one person. Because yeah, they started liking yeah. all your photos. Like get the fuck out of here. Sorry. Yeah. No, <laughs> I know for me, like say if Sean's boyfriend posts a picture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't love other people's. Significant yeah. others. I would never love that picture like if it's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I would like it, but I feel like a love is kind of too much for me. I would love it if you were in, in it. it. Yeah, but if that's by yourself, and that's yeah. if you, yeah, okay, I can say that. Yeah. And that and, if you and, were in it, to, I would love it. Yeah. To segue into that, 100%. And then you're in a relationship and then you don't post your significant other. What are you, what does that imply? And you well, don't post it? And you well, do not no. post your significant other. That's different no, because, because you if don't, you're in a relationship, if you're in a committed relationship, I'm going to give you for example, for example, like my relationship, my ex-husband, right? He never posted me on his social media. And the reason why is because he wanted women to, to know, to think that he was a single man and yeah, that he was available. Yeah. But okay. everybody's not like that, Ange. Uh, yeah, okay, so what's another reason post. people don't post their significant Because they don't want everybody all up in their business. Okay, you know? so there's a difference between secret and privacy mm -hmm. yeah right so i just think there's a point in a time for you to post your significant other but it don't have to be all the time mm -hmm. exactly yeah i do agree with that i agree i do but like i don't know that i don't know and i'm like i'm by no means am i saying that you know if we're in a relationship you have to post me like i, I get yeah you that's your social but media. i just know his reasoning behind it mm -hmm. so i was just like okay all right. So, do y'all think that social media influence how somebody or what somebody wants in a relationship? So, say if I was somebody 
oh i see all these celebrities right mm -hmm. they got these men that splurge money on them they got these nice cars maybe i want somebody like that and if i can't find somebody like that i don't know i do feel like a lot of females look at social media and base their lives off of that when they're not even at the caliber of the woman that they're dating, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Social I media have influence that. and all that. With like, even with women not liking their bodies, seeing those mm -hmm. things yes. on social media, and they want to be like those people. They're not realistic. Now you want to go get plastic surgery and do all this other extra stuff just to like fit the society norms when it's not the society not norms. Normal. It's just social media. Yeah. So like, yeah. You, it's so easy to put a picture on, mm -hmm. what you know, and then just sit there and Photoshop your picture yeah. to make it look like you have a flatter stomach, bigger boobs, mm -hmm. and bigger butt. Yeah. yeah. So and longer legs so that you could be more acceptable. Yeah. socially on yeah. the internet mm -hmm. than to post yourself naturally instead yeah. of using all those filters instead of using any sort of photoshop or editing mm -hmm. to make yourself look like you don't you, you know what you're not because you don't look like that right like, again right. then someone and, and if you do end up meeting someone on social and media then and then they look like, at you like the catfish that's not, you you don't look like that's not you yeah <laughs> i yeah. see somebody yeah <laughs> when i was in school and that's say that's not. <laughs> I text my best friend. It's like I seen such and such. She do not look the same. I was just like, but I'm gonna just keep that to myself. Yeah, yeah. And I, cause filters are something big that everybody use or whatever. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like social media makes people not be comfortable in their own skin sometimes. A hundred percent. Because it's so yeah, it judgmental. Does. Yes, it does. Because you look at a picture and then you compare your picture, like I'm not, and I'm not saying everybody does this, but you know, some people that are not secure with themselves will do something like that. Yeah. You, know? you look at your picture and then you look at another picture that you're like, I want my body to look like that. I want my hair and my skin and my makeup and everything else, my teeth, my, mm -hmm. my boobs, mm -hmm. all of this to look like that. And it was, and then that's when you're like, oh, I want plastic surgery. Yeah, because those people, um, who they want to look like, they have plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. So that's not realistic. It's like thousands and thousands and thousands yeah. of dollars yeah. of reconstructive surgery. And, and then you have a baby of your own. The baby's not even, that's, the baby's not even gonna look like you. That baby's gonna be confused, okay? <laughs> Where did I get this nose from? Yeah, like, why do I look like this? Uh -huh. I don't look like my mom. All oh, like, gonna be probably, uh, I don't wanna say it, but like, you know, self-conscious about yeah. themselves, yeah. you know? But a lot of people that go through that, like we see a lot of people on social media that change their bodies and they're still not happy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. So we got they these go people that want to look like other people. I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy. You gotta accept yourself. But yeah, I definitely think that <laughs> um, social media does affect people's relationships. Like if you go, because one thing that, you know, I have seen that has happened, not just with me, but some friends like back in North Carolina, and um, my friends in Texas, they've all told me like, if you have to like start deleting messages that you get in your DMs from people, yes, it, you know, is that would you consider that as cheating? Mm -hmm. Well, would you, you know what I mean. Wait a minute. Like, so is are that they cheating? replying though? You know. But and then and what? They, so what were the messages thing, about? So if you're deleting them. If they're if you're not replying, you're hiding, you're you're not, hiding if you're something. You're not replying, then you ain't got nothing. There's to no hide. need to, yeah, there's there's no need to delete anything. Yeah. But if you once you start deleting those messages in your DM, you're either responding to them or you you know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. like there's something that's in that conversation that you just don't want anybody to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the minute you start deleting those messages, it's like, mm, what do you have to hide? Exactly. Because then you can have a normal conversation. And you know what? I have a question. Do you think that it's possible for you to have a normal conversation with somebody of the opposite sex that you're, you know, that's attractive and not be inappropriate? Yes. Of course. Course. Of course. Yeah, and, it's not get, we have... and not get to that level to where you have to start deleting conversations. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, like um, involving social media? Yeah. Or, okay, okay. Yeah, of course. Like I can comment on somebody's post or picture or whatever and I think it's nothing it's just funny or like it's serious something that mm -hmm. I seriously believe in and I feel like oh you know what I'm putting my little two cents out there and then I'm gonna say something and then, you're done and then it. that's it you yeah wash your wash hands, your hands. Yeah. yeah it don't yeah. have to be more than than you know than something but some like his significant other could, could perceive it as something it's different if I comment on a few of his posts he like she could think like oh she's into you 
which I've never even thought anything about it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that could be an, an issue, form. yeah, within their relationship. Yeah. So. But I guess it's like perception, though, because how, yeah, exactly. if it was me, how wouldn't I know? Yeah. If you're yeah. not, you know, into yeah. them if you're commenting on all the pictures. Not all the pictures. Well, some of them. Yeah, like, I mean, so say for instance, if you have a, a like mindset mm -hmm. and they post something and, you know, it's funny or if it's, whatever you don't think anything about it like oh let me comment on it or or not you know so have you ever y'all ever seen or witness people in significant other dms yes you know what i'm saying and then maybe that person was at fault because they were yes doing something mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like because you know on Instagram when you reply on somebody's story it goes straight to their inbox mm -hmm. right so you either be like oh thank you or and then if they try to continue, continue the conversation you're supposed to stop if it's getting out of hand and you yeah. with somebody versus yeah. I mean I know I know firsthand from experience like if somebody responds cause my, my profile is not private mm -hmm. like cause to yeah. me I just like you know you have you a social media it is what it is, is. What it is. Yeah. The only thing that's private is my Facebook mm -hmm. because that's from Same. my family. Yeah. Same. So yeah. Instagram, I, Instagram is not private. Yeah. Snapchat is private because yeah. that's just from my close friends. Mm -hmm. Right. The Chinese be looking for us. Oh, uh -huh, thank you. <laughs> yep. A hundred percent. I'm no. I'm not trying to. No, ma'am. You are right about that. But like, if 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 a person of the opposite sex, like if a dude responds or replies, to, not responds, replies to a picture that I post with heart emojis or whatever inappropriate emojis or comments something i wouldn't say inappropriate but like a a, a compliment yeah right i double tap and i leave it alone okay so you didn't even say thank nope, you no i no, double tap and i leave it alone go away. i double tap and yeah. i leave it alone yeah uh, nope that's it but if i don't know you, you. Was, oh, oh if you i know do this. not okay. know you i'm not gonna yeah. respond to you okay yeah like, i'm not sense. going to exactly and okay. then if you're persistent i just remove you from my friends list yeah. and then if you continue i will block you that's just how i operate you know but if it's a, a friend like a male friend and they're like hey girl you look good. I'm like, okay, thanks. Yeah. And then that's okay. it. That's it. Yeah, that's don't it. continue. I don't like, continue or, the conversation. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, I got a question. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Snapchat is a part of social media. Yeah. The messages erase. Uh-huh. All you can see is names. So what we thinking? What we thinking? I see all these female names. Yeah. Like, what you gonna see? Yeah, I mean, but I should be able to see no messages, message. though. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I know. Some people save them, I, though. So my, I think... You can save them, yeah. But and if that person on the other side save them, you can't. Oh, I, wait, you can delete it. Yeah. Can you delete I, it? Now? But it's yeah. still saved in there. So it'll say like if somebody save a chat because y'all trying to y'all talk so about something important. Is we're there, talking and she saves hours. a message. We right? can delete. It. I can't delete it. I but a whole it. chat can the be saved. Chat. The whole conversation. Oh, I didn't know that. Can be saved. Oh, but you will know if they turn it on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Snapchat tell you everything. You uh -huh. can't get away with nothing. Oh. <laughs> nothing. So that's my thing. Is it like implied that mm, what they doing are they? So mm. I know, and I can't speak for everybody. This is just for me, like because I know how I am on Snapchat. Like I don't, I don't respond. Like I don't use Snapchat for anything other than like posting pictures, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. If it's inappropriate, if somebody tries to send me inappropriate pictures, they would get removed yeah. instantly. Like, yeah. that's just me personally. Like, I can't speak for everybody else. So I just assume that, you know, if my significant other has a whole bunch of females on his Snapchat, I'm just going to assume that, you know, he's doing the right thing until, I, until, until he shows me new. otherwise. Yeah. yeah. Until he shows me otherwise, that's all, that's all I'm going to assume is that he's doing the right thing. And then, like, he's not, he's doing right by me, period. You know, because I know I wouldn't do that to him. Right. That's just me, though. That's, that's like, kind of, I don't know. I know that's a terrible way of thinking. What was that? It's not. not, it's not. I, mean, I think, like, with all the social media, that's all I can do. As far as, um, like, being in a relationship and then all the uh, different chats and all that, you just got to be able to trust your social, mm -hmm. your um, significant other. Because other than that, what are you gonna do? Go snooping through the messages and then know. like make uh -huh. something this make something appear that's because not even really it, there. Because that just mm -hmm. could be your homie, and then 
Like y'all yeah. are like really close friends happens, on Snapchat. It, it'll you come know? to light eventually. It'll come to yeah. Right now. So just let it, it go. Just let it go. And yeah. I'm a firm believer in that. I, I agree too. That too. Yeah. I eventually, think. it will come out. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Take a drink to that. Yep. Moment of silence for the people. All right. Lay it on me. <laughs> so the next question is. What if you like social media, but your significant significant other doesn't, and he prefer you to stay off of it? That's his preference for himself, but he can't control what I do. Or At no do. point in any relationship should you have to dictate to your significant other whether it's men, men, men to man, woman to woman, man to woman, woman to man. What they should or should not do based off of something that you mm -hmm. have a preference on. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't like you don't like it doesn't mean that that individual that you're in a relationship with mm -hmm. has to dislike it too. Exactly. At the end of the day, you got into a relationship with that person knowing these things. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's just all across the board. Knowing these things about that person and you obviously found some sort of attraction toward, towards them regardless of this thing that you may or may not dislike you know so why in the world would you all of a sudden like in the middle of the relationship like oh well i don't want you on social media because i don't like it well like, so the hell out of here. that should be their <laughs> choice so yeah you say for instance if, that. yeah if, if that person um doesn't like you being on social media and you're like well yeah you know, you already know that they don't like you being on social media, but it at the end of the day, it should be your choice if you're not going to be on social media yeah. or not not based off of that. You know, like, okay, if that's distracting from your life, then okay, maybe you should take a step back from social media, opposed to just because my significant other doesn't like it. Like, there's no way I would ever put away social media just because my significant other doesn't like it. Like, if my significant other came to me and told me, like, I don't want you on social media anymore, and I'd look at him and be like, the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, who are you to yeah. tell me yeah. anything? Like, yeah. no, you can go kick rocks. Like, <laughs> yeah. But, that's it, but see, and that's the thing, though. Like, if, if, if they brought that in early and on onto the relationship, like y'all in like the dating stage, yeah. or like you guys getting to know each other, and they said that, I'd probably be like, "You're trying to tell me what to do. Yeah. This, right. this ain't gonna work." Yeah, and then like, you, does that you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. This ain't work. Like I'm uh, no. Especially like for us, like we're away from our families. That's a way that we keep in contact with them. You know, I don't have to talk to them every day, but I'll post every now and then, and they know that yep. I'm okay. You know, like my family. So that's a thing yeah, for me. My family in California. Like I, I, I connect with them via Facebook. Yeah. I mean, I know that's not the best answer, and probably yeah. I'm, you know, whatever. Yeah. But but it, I do. That's like how you I do connect it. with them on Facebook. Yeah. So. So would y'all just limit putting them on there since they don't like one of y'all? Limit putting them on there. So I will say this. Like say say photos? Yeah. I will say like, this. My ex-husband, ex you know, aunt, my daughter's dad, mm -hmm. he does not like it when I post my daughter on social media. He doesn't. And out of respect for him, because of that, yeah. I won't post her on social media. And if I do, I ask him, like, hey, are you okay with yeah. me posting this picture? Yeah. And he'll give me the, uh, that approval. But, like... If you don't want me to post you on social media, check Raj. You ain't going to get on my social media. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't care, but you're not going to tell me I can't be on social media. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's all I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> even, even with my current relationship, he doesn't post me on his social media. But he doesn't really post anything on there. So, I can't get mad with him, like, why aren't you posting me? You know? And I don't post him either. Like, I post a lot of shit on there. And I, I posted like a piece of back of his head so <laughs> motherfuckers can know that I'm in a relationship. But I'm not posting his face. He ain't posting me. I'm not finna flaunt you if you ain't flaunting me. Sorry, it's not happening. That's true. I not will, happening. I will attest to not that. Happening. Like, I'm the same way. Like, like, all of our yeah, family know that, that we're together, mm -hmm. but social media don't know. Mm -hmm. He could be holding this out, like, so just like Angie said, uh -huh. so everybody think that he's single. That was my ex husband. I just wanna say that. But. I don't think that, but it could be the case. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that I don't think that. that or he could be answer. private. He's 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 a private person. So, okay, I, I understand that. I guess my issue, I guess, with 
being that, but you're, you say he's not like that, which is good. But if somebody was private, right, and they never posted me on their um, social media, but they always posting them. Everything, yeah, no. Private. Okay, yeah, so no, he don't post anything. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's why I was like, okay, well, he's private. And that's why I was saying, like, that my, I hate, you know, my ex, my ex-husband, he posted himself. Mm -hmm. He'll post the dogs. But he never posted. Yeah, that's not okay. Man, I think even he posted yeah, on his story. Yeah, so that should have been that's different. A whole that's, different. I know. And he, yeah. and he posted yeah. like all his accomplishments in his yeah. career, but he never posted me. He never posted yeah. me. And it, and 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 it comes to find out, and I'm telling you, it shed the light. Like he, it was because he wanted women to know to think that he was single. Yeah. And at that point, I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, because like when you meet yeah. somebody, guess what they ask for? What's your Instagram? Mm -hmm. What's your Snapchat? Yeah. So they can see exactly what you got and on. And I'm telling you, this is across all platforms. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't just the one platform. This was all yeah. platforms. Yeah. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Especially in a marriage. I, I understand if you're dating somebody or... I guess sometimes in a relationship, but if y'all have been together for a long we time, I don't like know. Four years, and you ain't post me yeah, like I mean, twice? Yeah, I mean, and you was married, so, but I don't know, like, every now and then, oh, here's a face, you know what I'm talking about? But, you know, like, like, something, like, yeah, like, yeah there's a story, a hit me up on a story. private, and then wanting me up people on a story. to think Yeah, that's it, a story yeah. is this. Like, so, we feel as though it all comes with trust, uh -huh, right? Yeah. So, if you feel like you can trust your significant other, then social media is not a problem in a yeah. relationship. A hundred percent. Definitely not. I definitely agree with that. Like I I will never go through my man's phone. Have you ever? Have, no, I have. I have. That's and another topic. <laughs> How, you, but oh, but have I I have. Are you, are you talking like my ex husband? Yes, yeah. I have gone through his phone. Because he ha he gave me his phone to look look at something and it wasn't like it wasn't like I I, I grabbed it yeah. sneakily like he gave it to me to look at something it was unlocked and some female messaged him on social media and it was the same female that I had asked him like hey who's this because she was looking at my stories mm -hmm. like now oh, you're see, checking now okay. like, you're checking Wait up now. on Wait. you're checking up on your your wife and you the side you're checking up on the main there's a problem. Wait. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cause I. Yes, ma'am. That happened. Yes. And she wasn't your friend. And she, she was wasn't my friend. She you. was just checking up on me just because. Be, and the only mutual friend we had was him. Wow. And then I asked him about her, and he straight. I don't know who that is. And but they ha like notification popped up, and I was like, oh. It's the same person. The same person. Messages. Well, I would have went through. Deleted. That's why I said I was like, I'm not gonna oh, lie. I would have went through something too. In that case, I would like, let me see everything. And that's why I said, lay it out. As soon as I me. saw that notification and I saw that name and that person, I was like, hold up now. Yeah. So I looked at it and I obviously dropped down, clicked on it, and then I was like, that's when. And then he got caught. He so got caught. For me, I honestly wouldn't even. So I wouldn't even know. If somebody was looking at my stuff, because I'm the type of person I don't go and see who viewed my shit. Mm -hmm. But that's just me personally. I'd be like, I don't care. <laughs> but sometimes you need to know because that mm -hmm. tell you a lot. If your if your stuff is like public, yeah. So my, my my Instagram is public. Yeah. Oh, okay, mine is too. Yeah, but that's about it. Yeah. So you know you can see the viewers on there, but I never even on Snapchat I don't go. But some people oh no I don't do that. Some people yeah. just on Instagram feed off of a, and the only a high off of how many people. Yeah, that's no, weird. That's, that's weird to me. The only reason why I do it on Instagram is because uh, stalkers. And I'm just like, no, let me just start oh, yeah. people. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's unfortunate. I do understand I do. that. I don't. I definitely don't do that on Snapchat. Yeah, I'm like I don't care. But yeah, okay. But yes, trust. So we so. do feel like you know sometimes social media can have an impact on her, on your relationship, but it all depends on your partner. Mm -hmm. That's with males and females; mm -hmm. it goes both ways. Um, oh, the last thing I want to say to y'all: there was this experiment on TikTok, right? These guys would message this guy, particular guy, that would DM females. So basically, their their boyfriend. Or wife, I mean boyfriend or her husband would set them up. Wow! They would message the guy and be like, "I'm trying to do a loyalty test. 
on my girl, can you please mm. message her? And he would post everything. And when I tell you, a lot of them girls fold. It's like crazy how you would think that I would your be girl offended. is good. And I would. By which part? Lori, by, does even by the my, if oh, my husband says, or my significant yeah. other felt like they had to do that. Then not, the, the relationship's not, already yeah, over. I'm not doing it's already over. Right. I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. That you have to do yeah. something like that. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. It's I think it's like I would be offended. messed up on the male's part. Yeah, it's like you girls, put her in that situation, so it's like you wanted him to do that, right? And then you get upset that your girl became into him. Yeah, and was responding and was like saying stuff, or whatever. So it's like. You gotta be mad at yourself a little bit about that because you could have just went through her phone and saw. Oh, yeah, or asked her. Her. Maybe she wouldn't tell the truth, but <laughs> you know. I just know that. I mean, I know I wouldn't have responded, but if I found out that he did do something like that, I would be offended, and I probably I would rethink that entire yeah. relationship. Yeah, exactly. If if I was loyal, yeah. you know what I'm saying. If like, I was definitely, loyal, definitely, I, would, I wouldn't definitely, even want to no. be with him at that point. I, yeah, because of what what are you doing to make you yeah. think that yeah. I'm doing something yeah. like yeah. that? That's yeah. just. That's automatic. That's how I would, that would be my first instinct yeah. response. That's true. I just so. wanted to tell you about that because I, I was just thinking about it and I'll show y'all in a little bit when we get out of this, like, y'all, this shit is real. Like, There's you could really be setting up this video. Let me yeah. tell you, if I find out that someone that's does horrible. Like that to me. <laughs> that's horrible. We're done. Yeah. You're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> but I thank you so much for tuning into our video this is just one of many topics that we wanted to discuss today we hope you guys enjoyed it and let us know what you think down in the comments do you think that social media influence relationships have do you have any examples or did your friends or anybody go through this let us know we would love to hear from you i hope you tune into our next video and many more to come make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you turn that subscribe button from red to gray yeah do it i did it <laughs> She did it. I did it. We did it. We did it. Mm, Hooray. Like Don't oh. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.